Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and in today's episode of the Noob's 3D Printing Guide, we're going to talk about the infamous first layer and maybe we'll print something as well. Stick around. Welcome back makers. So we're at episode four now and I think it's time for us to start printing something with our 3D printer. So you've received your printer, you've unboxed it, you've assembled it, you set it up, you got to know it, and now you just want to print something. The first thing that will come to your mind is, I have no idea how to prepare files to be printed, or I don't even know what slicing means. Fear not. Some companies, unfortunately not all, but some companies will send you an SD card or a memory card or a USB drive, which will hold on it quite a few files. And some of those files, which are called G-code files, are basically pre-sliced models by the company where you can do test prints. And that is what we'll be using today. However, before you start printing, there is one crucial thing you have to fine tune, and that is the first layer. First layers are sometimes a bit hard to get to until you figure out exactly the consistency. Now, it's always very important to get the very first layer just right. The aim is to have a consistent, nicely squished plastic filament on the bed. You will have one of three outcomes when you do this. The first outcome will be that your filament will not stick to the bed because your nozzle is too high off the build plate. Second scenario would be that very little filament or no filament at all will come out of the nozzle because your nozzle is grinding down on the heat bed. The final outcome would be that you get the right consistently squished layer where your print will stick to the bed and everything will be successful. Now this is once again a trial and error. So it might take some time until you get the right first layer or you get used to how squished the filament should be, but you will get there eventually. The best way I can describe having the right consistency of the first layer is, imagine the filament being laid down on the bed like a sausage. Now, if it's a full circle of sausage, then it's just hanging off the bed. It's not actually sticking to the bed. Now, obviously, if you squish it too much, it'll just be a mess and all over the place. However, if you grab this, sausage or filament and you squish it down just halfway in order for the size to be round but the top and bottom to be flat then that should be pretty much the consistency at which the first layer should be extruded onto the build plate. So we're going to go to the printer and we're going to see this first layer. So we're going to grab our roll of PLA, we're going to take the end out of the spool and as mentioned before we're going to cut it at a 45 degree angle. We are then going to place the spool on the spool holder. We're gonna grab the end of the filament. We're gonna press on the extruder lever and insert it into the PTFE tube, which is on the other end. And we're going to push all the way in until the filament stops going in. Next, we're gonna to go to move and we will move the nozzle slightly up just so once we heat up the nozzle to extrude some plastic, it does not dig into the build plate. Once the nozzle has moved up, we're going to go to monitor and we will preheat the extruder. Now this is PLA, so 190 degrees is just about right to get it hot enough to extrude some plastic out. Once the hot end is about to reach its target, we can exit, go back to move, click on E-axis or extruder. And we're going to turn the dial so we can load some filament through. And as you can see, there is filament coming out. Once we know that the filament has been loaded, what we're going to do is simply grab the tweezers and clean out the nozzle. Next thing you need to do is grab yourself a microfiber towel or a paper towel, put in some isopropyl alcohol in it and just wipe the bed clean. Just so you can remove any oils or sweat from your fingers that might have touched the build plate. Once all that has been done and the bed has been leveled, we are ready to print. So we're gonna click on print and we're gonna look for the G codes. So we have the first one right at the top, which is cat.gcode, which is what we're going to run. Once you select the file, the menu changes and it starts showing you relevant information. It shows you the extruder temperature, the heat bed temperature, the speed, 
can also pause the print or cancel the print. Now this is the important part as while the printer is laying down its first layer, you have to keep an eye on it in order to make sure that it's consistent and it's going to stick. If for some reason you notice that it's not sticking or the filament is coming off as soon as it's being printed or that it's too squished on the bed, then you need to stop the print immediately. Now, as you can see here, the print is laying down. It's laying down fine. However, if you notice the um, filament extruded is actually quite round and we want it to be a bit more squished just to make sure that it sticks properly. So we're going to stop the sprint, untighten the bed screws just maybe a quarter of a turn and we'll try it again. So now that we've slightly undone the four bed screws, maybe about a quarter of a turn to raise the bed a fraction of a millimeter, we're going to see how the next run goes. And as we can see, that's a much, much better first layer. It's not entirely squished, but just enough to create pressure for it to stick on the build plate. Now that the print has finished and I've let it cool down, it's very important to let everything cool down. Keep in mind that you are dealing with very high temperatures here. This is not a toy. You have hot end that reaches temperatures up to 250 degrees. You have a heat bed that can go up to 90 or 100 degrees. So it's very important to always keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to taking off prints off your build plate, with this particular printer, it's actually very easy due to its removable, flexible build plate. However, not all printers have that. You'll have printers which just have a glass bed. You have might have a printer which has a PI sheet or a different type of build tech or a pale poly sheet. Things which I will get to at a later stage. However, keep in mind that everything we've covered today with this printer refers to a build tech surface. Now, a build tech surface is this black surface finish right here. This is a sticker that sticks onto the build plate in order for prints to stick better and be removed easier. Now, if it was any other type of printer that does not have a built tech surface or possibly a removable flexible build plate, then you might need some tools to remove your prints. And those tools come in the form of scrapers or what looks like a palette knife for painting. You would use these to simply just slide it under the print and pry it off in order to just get it off the build plate. However, in this case, we don't need those. So what we're going to do is simply undo the four bed clips, take the little plate out and slightly bend it. And you can feel it pop and it just comes off like that. Now, as a first print, as a test print, I have to say it's quite impressive. The, the finish is quite gorgeous on this print. Now this took over three hours to print and there are several reasons why it took that long. It didn't have to, but this was a pre-sliced G-code. So we will talk about how to reduce the time of prints, but in order for it to look this good, as a test print, it had to take that long because it needed to print in finer layers, in slower speeds, and make sure that the print quality is as fabulous as it looks. That is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this episode useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try to answer them. In the meantime, I want to reiterate something, something very important that has been coming up quite a lot in comments and private messages. This series is not about this printer. This series is about sharing with you guys what I have learned and in the way that I have learned it with possibly my terminology at some point. So I might not get it perfect the first time. However, I want to try to simplify things as much as possible. So bear with me if I make any mistakes. All I'm doing right now is simply sharing all the knowledge that I have learned in the past year of printing. Having said that, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making guys.